background info. I moved alone out of the country to study and I think I'm going slightly mad cooped up here all alone, so I decided to make myself a little friend. I found this huge ball of orange yarn so I figured I'd make myself a fox friend. And that's really the extent to which I planned this. I maybe should have thought things through a bit more, but that's not really how I do things, so I just grabbed my tiny crochet hook and look how tiny this hook is! Well, I started from the tip of the nose and planned to just crochet until it started to look like a fox, but I didn't get very far before I realized I might need a bit more of a plan, so I took some paper and a pen and drew a fox head to use as a reference. And upon comparing my thing to the picture, I noticed that I needed to make some adjustments here. And then I just kept on crocheting and comparing it to the picture and giving myself words of encouragement. Yeah, that's fine. Until I came to the point where I needed a mouth. Now, at first I made this separate flap thing to attach to the underside of the snout, but I realized that while the snout was made in like a circle or spiral thing, the flap had these lines because it was made back and forth. Do 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 do. And we can't have that, so I needed to go back a bit and start over. So after some more of careful planning, or making things up as I go, I marked the top and the sides with blue string to keep things symmetrical and I started adding stitches to the underside to make this protrusion, so to speak, that would make up the lower jaw. I had my doubts when the piece started looking more like a small hat than a fox snout, but I cast those aside and reassured myself. It'll be fine! Oh, what delicious looking carrots! You know, crocheting is very repetitive by nature, so mostly this whole thing is just me crocheting and comparing it to the reference and adding stitches to widen the snout where I feel like it should be wider and comparing it to the reference and adding stitches and crocheting and crocheting and comparing and... <gasps> Something's happening. Oh yeah, I needed to get the orange yarn started, but it's a lot thicker than the other yarn and the other hook that I found was like three sizes too big. So I just continued with the small hook and hoped that I could loosen the stitches enough to make the switch at some point. But for now I'm just going around the snout in a spiral, switching between the white and orange yarn. Now most of this video has been me explaining things in voiceover afterwards, but let me hand it over to past me to explain my thought process while working on the fox. At this point I figured I need to sort of, I don't know, have a plan. Fascinating and informative. Let's see if she has anything else to say. I think I need to make it a little bit more... I don't know. I'll figure it out. And figure it out I did by adding more flaps to the sides of the head to make these eye sockety things. And here I am pointing out that next I'm gonna do something to the bottom here. But apparently I was lying because in the next shot I've finished the eye sockets and didn't even do it symmetrically. To make the nose I took a piece of black leather and sort of traced around the tip of the nose to see what size I should cut it in and then I cut it into this almost circle and made it a bit more symmetrical and tried it on and drew some pleats into the sides to make it pointy and sewed those pleats in place and the leather was pretty hard to sew through but once I had the pleats done I just tried it on and sewed it in place and done. My approach to making the mouth was very similar to everything else I've done so far. Just do the first thing that comes to mind and then when that looks kind of done, try something else. This time the something else that sort of worked was flipping the whole thing inside out and then sewing this kind of like a seam to the inside of the mouth. I'm sure that there are better and smarter ways to do this, but the end result fulfills my requirement, which is good enough. Next up I started making this hairy fluffy neck beard situation on the fox and I made this by making looped crochet, I don't know if that's what it's called, I'm gonna call it that, which is basically every time you crochet a stitch you make this sort of a loop thing on the back of it and there are tutorials if you are interested in how it's made. And after I had started that I decided that Mr. Fox needed some more orange on his snout so that's what I did, I just added some more orange on his snout. And then I just sort of continued on from the forehead until it started to look like a head. Yeah, this is definitely not a tutorial that you can follow. Sorry, I hope that's not what you were expecting. The making of fox ears is actually really simple because they're just a triangle, so that's what you do, you make a triangle. And after that's tried and tested on for size, you can just... and... 
first I made the white neckbeard flap longer and flappier and then I continued with the orange, just basically making it a tube that looked like a neck. By that point my nail polish had completely chipped off on one finger and I stuffed the head to make sure it looked like what I wanted it to look like. Although I was sort of into the soulless empty stare that the fox had going on, I got these toy eyes to try out. But before I could pop them in properly, I had to fill in the eye sockets. Now that's a sentence I never thought I'd say. I'd never used these kind of eyes before, but I realized that the best way to use them is to just stick them on before realizing that they're really not on the right spot and having to gouge them out and attach the backing, which was unnecessarily hard, and then putting them on the right spot. So they're really quite easy to attach. Once the eyes were in place, I wanted to add some detail, so I took a piece of leather and traced the eye shape on it, cut it out and hacked at it with scissors until it fit well enough. And then I of course made the second one and sewed them on. Sewed them on? How are you supposed to say the past tense of sew? Sewed? Sewed? Anyway, after that I also sewed sewed some stitches onto the snout to shape it a little bit more. Okay, on to the legs. I just don't know what I can say to make this interesting. I crocheted this kind of a shape and then closed it into a tube and continued with that. Then I added stitches on the other side to make this sort of a bump that's gonna be the knee, elbow. Then I needed some black yarn for the legs, but the only one that I could find was this weird flat one that used to be a sweater. But I was just gonna make it work. And since I also found this thinner brown yarn, I might as well throw that in there as well. But since I'm an idiot who never thinks before doing, and the yarns are all different sizes, it ends up being like thinner and then thicker again, and I have to unravel and do it all again. But the second time around it ended up pretty okay, and once I added this bulb at the end as a paw, I was done. So I stuffed it to make sure it was fine, and because I needed another one, then I was just... Hmm? Fine. Yay, it's actually starting to look like something. Yeah, I don't really have anything to say about this either. Just listen to some music. I'm sure this was informative enough. And now for the fantastic Mr. Fox! Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this point everything just goes a little bit boring. It's just crocheting on and on and on and on and past me agrees. I'm getting tired of this. Yep, this is it. Just this. sick and tired of the crocheting so I spent way too much time making a little basket out of paper as if I had nothing better to do I mean I don't even really have a use for it I just needed to do something else so there you have it and then I made another fucking one Making the body was basically just a tube, except that I added the white on the stomach and then I ran out of the white so it just sort of stops. But after I'd done that, I realized that the fox's neck was basically bigger than its body, so unraveling it is. Yeah, 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 yada, 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 crochet, crochet, crochet. Okay, it might be time for me to go to sleep and continue this tomorrow. Okay, it's the next day. I'm full of energy. Okay, I'm sufficiently equipped with energy. Anyway, we're already on the back legs. Now, making them was pretty much the same as front legs. Just crochet a rounded shape, make it into a tube, add a joint, switch to brown and black yarn, add another joint because the back leg has two of them, unravel it when you fuck up something, do it again but better. And I really don't know how I managed to do this. What am I gonna do now? Well, what I did was use another hook. It's a bit smaller, but who cares? And once one leg is done, I'm gonna try this one more time. Another fucking basket. Fine, I'll give up. It wasn't funny anyway. Fine. 
Finally, we're at the stage where it's all coming together. I could feel the end approaching. Boy, was I wrong. But while I'm here, fiddling away at the crotch of Mr. Fox there, I'm gonna warn you, things are gonna get a little bit graphic soon, so if you're disturbed, boy, that sort of a thing. Just, you've been warned. Now, this did feel a little bit wrong. I mean, at this point the fox was like a child to me. But what can you do? After it was mostly stuffed, I of course had to shut the hole, so to speak. And now in the end, I needed to stuff it just a little bit more and... I can't show this to you, just no. A little part of me sort of wanted to leave the last small hole there, just for shits and giggles, but some things are just too much. Now, you might remember that I used up all the thicker white yarn in the stomach, and I was too lazy and impatient to go and get any more, so I took the thinner cotton yarn and started making the tail with that. But this would have been so much easier with the thicker yarn because I had to use a tiny hook and it was not worth it. But once I could switch back to the orange yarn and a thicker hook, things started going a lot smoother. And then it was just make a big tube. And once the big tube of a tail was done, I cut open all the loops and sewed it on the fox butt. I still wanted to add some detail, so I embroidered a darker brown around the eyes and added some grey around the nose, some black to the mouth to make it stand out and made the ears look more fox-like. Then I went a little bit crazy and started embroidering fur. I mean, I don't regret it because it looks so much better, but Jesus, this took ages. Long enough for me to start questioning why am I doing this and you know what? I never really found an answer to that, but then I realized that we had a problem. Now, a smart person would have done this right at the beginning. If there's something that I've learned during this, it's that I'm not a smart person. To be honest, I thought about it, but I didn't have the steel wire, so I just left it at that. So I fashioned this sort of a skeleton figure, but it was a bit flimsy, so I reinforced it with tape. Fun fact, in my country this is called Jesus tape because it can save you in so many situations. And added some paper around the skeleton to try to prevent the wire from sticking out and I don't know, it just felt like the right thing to do. But once the skeleton was done, I still had to get it inside the fox, so I had to perform some surgery. Yeah, things got a bit weird again. It was a bit brutal and a tight fit, but I managed to ram it in there. And then all I needed to do was restuff him, reclose the hole, and re resist the urge to leave him an asshole. Well, the one problem with my otherwise fine skeletal structure was that the front legs weren't supported all the way through. What I did was take another thinner wire and just stuck it through both legs like a thing that you stick through limbs. And after a bit of fiddling, he was as good as new. Almost. While I still had the fur to finish, this time it was like a, just a little on the ass and the legs and then it was honestly done. I considered making little toe beans, but by this time I just didn't care anymore and decided that it was finished. So, there we have it. It's far from perfect, but I'm actually quite happy with it. It can stand, it can sit down, sort of. It can lie down, well, not really. I've named him Frank. I've actually named quite a few things Frank, but I couldn't help it. Frank the Fox just sounds too good. 